So another quick little update on the compressor. Uh, managed to spend a couple of hours down here. Uh, had a bit of a tidy up outside. So um, I didn't get to spend the whole day on this, but I did manage to fold up a couple of doors um, and fit this other guard here. So um, I'll just take you on a, a quick walk around and show it. I did film a lot of what I was doing throughout the process. Uh, whether I'll put that in the video, I don't know. If, uh, if I do, that'll be up next. Here's where we're at. Still not entirely sure how I will hinge that. Uh, maybe something simple, just hinge at the bottom so it just folds down, has a couple of latches at the top. Um, I was initially going to do it hinged at the front and latched at the back, um, but they're quite long. Um, I may just simplify it, hinge them at the bottom, let them roll down, catch on some chains that uh, you can disconnect from hooks on the top side and um, lay it down on the guard if need be. 
um, just so you can get access to the inside there to do whatever you need to. Um, and I'll also, on the hinges on the bottom, I'll make it so you can take the whole doors off if you need. Uh, so that's that side. There's the other side, obviously just laying in there. I haven't actually cut the reliefs in them just yet. Um, in the doors for where the, the air will come out. Obviously the air gets drawn in through the radiator there. That's actually an oil cooler as well. Um, and then it's got to come out somewhere and I'm going to put drip trays underneath. So in the middle of the door here, I'm going to have to cut some, uh, some kind of relief. What I'm waiting for is I will track down some mesh to go in the top sides and in the front of this and whatever I've got left I'll put in the doors here so that at least that size at that stage I'll know what size I should cut them in last thing I want to do is cut them in and then have to end up getting like a um, another half of a sheet of uh, the mesh just in order to do those last little bits so I'll, um, I'll measure up what I can get see what will fit in there and then whatever I'm left with I'll cut in the doors um, but that's pretty much all of the bits I have to fabricate um, I still have to fix that part there but once that's fixed and I've got all the mesh sorted out for it I can paint it and then put in the sound deadening um, and then it's just a matter of stripping it right the way down and doing the repairs on the compressor and then it can go back together